Commission Factory Partner Talks. I'm one of the publisher managers here, Jen, and this is the team lead, Angus. Hey guys. Today we're going to be doing our third episode with the lovely Like to Know It team, or also known as LTK, Elise and Athena. Yeah. Hey, hey guys. guys. Thanks, Thanks for having us at your bar. Us. So today so we're actually fun. going to be doing it at our bar, as you can mm -hmm. see, Booze Factory. And we're going to be making you our favourite cocktail, which is a margarita. Fabulous. And just also learning a little bit more about you guys and what you do. Yeah. Oh, you're very excited. excited. <laughs> so I suppose for those that haven't heard of LTK before, can you give us like a quick run through of, you know, what you guys do? Absolutely. So LTK is the world's largest influencer marketing platform based out of the US. We established the office here in Sydney in April of last year. And essentially what we do is bring premium influencers together with brands. Essentially, influencers on our platform are able to create a decommissionable link to over 10,000 brands. They can put that link into their content, whether that be Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and when one of their followers clicks on that link and makes a purchase, they earn commission. So it's a win-win for everyone. Yeah, fantastic. And you guys mentioned that you've kind of, you know, more recently launched in Australia, or not recently, but you know, launching in the Australian market is always a bit of a, a big thing for global brands and companies. How have you guys found the Australian market? Does it kind of differ from the global market in any way? Or uh, how have you found that? Yeah, so we're seeing significant traction in the market, both from the influencer side. Influence is really excited that, you know, we're now here to assist them with optimising all of their content, right? Mm -hmm. And same from the brand side. There are a lot of brands on our platform that weren't being serviced properly, I hate to say that. But now that we're on the ground in the same time zone, we're able to really help everyone come together. Yeah. Um, and so now that we've educated most people in market, you know, on what we do, we're seeing people are really loving the platform. It's so easy to use. It's very um, frictionless, so you know it has been like a good start to you know our expansion into this region. Yeah, fantastic. I see Jen's already hooking into yeah. making Ooh. the first round of cocktails. I'm very excited. There's four um, glasses here. If you yeah. can't see them on the camera. So speaking of influences and things, how is TikTok for you guys going? Cool. Well, I love TikTok as a consumer. So, Gen Z. Tiny Mike. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's really exciting time to be a part of TikTok and also creator facing. So, we don't just work with Instagram influencers, we work with YouTube, TikTok, and that's been really exciting because we are one of the only platforms that a TikTok creator can monetize. Um, with brands on their TikTok with, Shop, with LTK. So, we've been very actively onboarding. TikTok creators at the same rate as Instagram creators and we're seeing brands are really interested in like working with TikTok creators and like there's no and, you know I want to demystify it there's no difference you know you can run a campaign in, the influencers on that platform can use our links in the same way and that we've seen a lot of success so we've had some of Australia's top creators in the fashion lifestyle space perform really well with LTK. So, so Gopher, Kevin Denton, they all link back to everything that they have created a commissionable link for in their bios mm. on TikTok, which is quite cool. So, you know, instead of watching a three minute TikTok video going, ah, where's that top from? Or where's that, where's that cleanser from? Then people can go to their LTK store, which is embedded into their bios. Okay. And if a brand purely wanted to do TikTok, could they do, could you guys help them coordinate like a whole kind of... Absolutely, we love doing that. And we yeah. do that for a number of brands. And we've seen huge success with, um, brands loving the content, sort of growing their presence on that platform too, because obviously, you know, everyone's got an account on there, but you need the at brand to sort of grow your audience. So, you know, it is all very um, symbiotic in that sense. Yeah, and I think like brands are like fearful to go into TikTok yeah. by themselves. So having us as experts in this space, being able to, you know, guide and support brands through that sort of decision making is like where we come into play. Yeah, it's really interesting. I found um, TikTok just to be one of those things where, it can be um, so unfamiliar for so many brands. Um, Don't be too heavy-handed, they're looking to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worry, I've got to make cocktails for everybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, have you guys found you know, particular you know, influencers or have you guys got like a favourite kind of 
you know, vertical or group of influencers on TikTok that you've worked with so far? Not really. I mean, it's quite diverse. So we, are, because we work with so many brands, we have to recruit such a huge range of influencers. Mm. I think, um, you know, some of our, you know, if we're saying favourites, we've got people in the interior space who, where the TikTok content works really well for the before and afters, transitions, you know, like fixing up a room, yeah. things like that actually you probably wouldn't think of influencer for, but are really working well for brands and selling products in that space. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And do you guys have, you know, a general piece of advice or kind of um, feedback for brands that might be looking to work um, in the influencer or, or content creation space? How would our brands lean into it? Like, be open to the advice thing because, you know, when we put something forward for a brand, it's because we want that brand to be successful. Our success only really comes from sales being driven through the LTK links, right? So we're never putting something forward with any other agenda except to drive awareness, clicks, and then sales. Mm. So, you know, whether that be gifting, a paid placement, you know, if you're open to it and not to, like, control it, mm. then, you know, you'll see the results. Yeah, essentially, put trust in the experts, work Why with not? you guys to create a great campaign. Don't we look trustworthy <laughs> <laughs> with our tiny mic. <laughs> All right. um, if you had to choose kind of one favorite influencer kind of collab that you guys have done, what would you say that was? Um, I definitely love the iconic campaigns that we're currently running. Um, we recently did a collaboration with Endless Artists um, and Brittany Flynn, which was like a really cool collaboration that just launched. So that was really incredible to see that campaign come to life. Mm. Yeah, fantastic. Cool. Um, so a couple rapid fire questions. I think Jen was going to kick off. Yep. So these questions, you guys are going to answer it real quick, real <laughs> snappy. We want your best answers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you want us to go like... Go first, or we'll just time. do we'll alternate. We'll just alternate. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sure. So, um, who is your biggest inspiration? Michelle Obama. Good answer. <laughs> yeah. uh, favorite Netflix series at the moment? Ooh. Um, God, Emily in Paris, loving that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Season three is coming up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what's something that is embarrassing that shouldn't be embarrassing? Like, that you find embarrassing? I'll go first. So, uh, yesterday flying to Sydney, having to get onto the plane and then tell someone that they were in my seat. It's not that embarrassing. But it is kind of that yeah, awkward, awkward moment where awkward. they have to stand up and then you have to hold up the whole plane and <laughs> get into your seat. Mine is when you drop like a receipt or a bit of paper or something and the wind blows it and you're like trying to pick it up <laughs> and you just like can't quite get it. And you're just like, this is not it. I'm not okay. <laughs> The airport one's pretty awkward. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, similar vein, yeah. what gives you guys the ick? There's got to be something. Um, boys dancing on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are so cute. Though. No, it's ick. Mm. Ick yeah. activated. Yeah, that's so fair. No dancing. Yeah, that was no dancing. Great answer. Thanks. Um, favorite holiday destination? I love going to the States. So much diversity. This is probably why I work for a US based business, right? You're going to stay, won't you? Yeah. 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 I mean, I love like. Greece, naturally. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and yeah, we look forward to seeing what comes out of LTK with for the rest of the year and next year and so on. Very excited to see you. Thanks for having us at the bar.